What up everyone, it's your boy xman 87 here bringing you another Marvel Legends video and what I have for you today is the Hasbro PostCon exclusive X-Men 20th Anniversary Logan Movie 2 Pack of Logan and Charles Xavier Action Figure Review. Gotta give a big, big thank you to Hasbro for sending me this product sample for free to take photos and review it for you guys to enjoy. So again, big thanks from the PR team to my good friends at Hasbro, Dan Yoon, Dwight Stahl, and the man Ryan Ting for giving me this wonderful opportunity as I'm very honored to work on this project. And as always, if you could please leave a thumbs up like rating on the video, it'll help show your support for my channel and I greatly appreciate it. Now with that said, let's take a good look at these figures. And now to start things off with Charles Xavier. Xavier, just wow, look at this head scope. Looks just like Patrick Stewart, man. This is absolutely amazing. And what's also impressive is that they have these liver spots all over his head. So that is really, really cool. I really like how the white painted beard came out. So this figure is really showing its age, <laughs> but it looks really good. I, I do dig it. You know, the eyes are painted in green. Wow, just the resemblance is just uncanny here. Look at the wrinkles on his forehead, that looks good. You know, the eyebrows, and then the hair. The strings of hair on his back, I thought, was brilliant. So, they did a superb job here. Then looking at the side profile from this side, and then on this side, wow. What do you guys think? I think they nailed it. And for the rest of the body, they kept it pretty simple, you know? You got the sleeves that are from the Stan Lee and retro Peter Parker. The suit right here, the flannel shirt, and that's actually from the suited bodies, the ones without the ties. And then you got this uh, sweatshirt right here, newly sculpted on this part. And you see the seams right there on the bottom. So nice wrinkles. And then the flannel pattern is painted pretty nicely. So between these brown and white painted lines, it came out really clean. Then you get the standard hands that always come with the suited bodies. And as for the rest of the legs, he has these gray pants and then the brown shoes. It's the same as Stan Lee's and the other suited bodies, not the Nick Fury one, which has the ankle swivel. So that's pretty much it. The shoes are painted in brown. And lastly, he has peg holes on his feet. Now for accessories, he came with his wheelchair. You know, you gotta have Professor X with his wheelchair. And this is definitely a more realistic wheelchair, movie inspired. So it's nice that we're getting this. I think this is Hasbro's first take on a realistic wheelchair like this. So it came out nice, you know, got the silver color right here. You got the brown colored seat and the armrest right here. You got the handles and uh, the wheels are pretty cool. They both spin at the same time. It's just one wheelbarrow right here. And what's really cool is that they have a rubber overlay over them. So it does have that realistic feel. So I'll show you how he fits on the wheelchair shortly. The front wheels right here do not spin. That's a bummer. It's just sculpted on there. And then he has his footrest right here, which is pretty pliable. But I wouldn't worry about anything snapping from here. So this wheelchair is very well put together. Now to get him on the wheelchair, just pose your Xavier in the best seated position that you can put him in. And then just... Just, you know rest them on here like so also make sure that the feet are kind of angled down so that way his feet can make contact with the footrest right there and then I just bring his arms down accordingly and then there you have it you got your Charles Xavier on his wheelchair and again the way it rolls is the front wheels feel like they're interrupting the smoothness of the roll so yeah see what I mean sometimes you might uh, get that happening. Not that you want to move Charles Xavier, old man Charles, like 80 miles per hour on a wheelchair, you know, it's definitely meant to be rolled slowly, but you know, just wanted to show you how uh, it functions. But hey, if you want your old man Charles popping wheelies and stuff, just use your imagination, you know? <laughs> but hey, for a display piece, he looks freaking great. Let's see how he articulates. So his head moves that far up, is on that neck hinge ball joint, and he looks that far down, left, right, and, he, and not really, not much pivot right there. You have his arms that move that far up, that far down, all around, you got the shoulder swivel, bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, really good. And then he has the wrist swivel and the wrist hinge. Ab crunch moves that far forward, so the sweater doesn't really hinder it that much. And he moves that far back. I think it hinders just a bit, but again, he's going to be seated most of the time. And you got the waist swivel right there. You have the legs that move that far apart. It moves that far up that far back his legs rock around you got the thigh swivel double jointed knees and oh no heel to the old man charles xavier butt his ankles move that far down 
and it moves that far up and he does have the ankle rockers. Now for some comparisons, here is our old man next Xavier, next to Peter Parker and Stan Lee. Here he is next to the only Fox Men figures from the original trilogy that I have, Mystique and the Amazon exclusive Wolverine. And while I don't have the Professor X from the movie 2 pack that comes with Magneto, here he is next to his comic book counterpart. Now taking a look at old man Logan, oh my god, I'm geeking out hardcore over here. Look at this head sculpt, man. It is freaking beautiful. Look at the bloody wounds we're getting here, man. That looks so raw. You get it above his eyebrow, you get it like on his hairline as well. There's some on his hairline. You get a little cut under his eye as well. And you get some wrinkles as well on his uh, eyes. You get the crow's feet and the facial hair too. Look at that, man. I love the wash that uh, you see here. You got the gray on top of like the brown. So it looks good, man. And you get those extended stubbles above his facial hairline. So that looks good even in like his mouth around this area. I love the hair sculpt too. Looks so good. Again, you get that gray wash over the brown. Only bummer right here is that, oh, that gap, man. That gap is not a good look. You know, you got that ball joint, so you don't have the hinge. And yeah, man, that's, that's, what, that's what's killing it for me. If you care about aesthetics, this is something that's really going to bother you. I know it bothers me too, so I really hope they don't keep doing this. And I just wish this peg wasn't visible when looking at him from the back. But anyways, that can't take away from how great this head sculpt really is. That face sculpt is just amazing. And you even get the stubbles on his neck, so how awesome is that? That's a really neat touch that Hasbro did there. And taking a look at this suited body, it is new. While it might look the same as the other standard suits, uh, they added a few new parts that actually surprised me here. So at first I thought this shirt belonged to the Bruce Banner type of shirt right here, but it's actually different. If you look closely, look at the collar. See how this flaps out more and this one doesn't. And you get more uh, chest here because you can see the muscle line right there. So exposing his uh, pectoral muscles right there. So yeah, look at that. Wow. And then when you flap out this jacket right here, as you can see, the sculpt seam right here in the middle is more visible than right here. And you can see the wrinkled pattern, you know, on this one. So it looks like it's not enough. This one, there is a lot of wrinkled patterns. And also, you get some good muscle definition here with these obliques popping out. So in a way, this is like its first ever muscled suit because the arms as well, they're not the same as the standard bodysuit. So this has more muscle definition. They're a lot bulkier. As you can see, the biceps are much bigger on Logan, the forearms especially. And you get like a seam right here around the shoulder joint and you don't get that right here. Speaking of the arms, an uh, interesting note is that this figure does not have butterfly joints, but there's enough room in his shoulders where it kind of wiggles forward and back like if he had butterfly joints. So I found that interesting. Forward, back, forward, back. So that'll always help with some great lunging poses. So I'm interested to see what other characters we could get in muscle-suited bodies. And comparing it to the Nick Fury, the shirts are not the same because obviously this guy has the tie. But the suit jacket is different as well. So this jacket right here is, is retooled from this one. So as you can see, there's like a double seam right there, just one seam right here. And then when you look closely, this one doesn't have like the stitching sculpted. Whereas this one, there's some slight stitching sculpted right there. So you can see that going along. And yeah, that's another difference I spotted out, especially the back of the jacket as well. So the wrinkles on the Nick Fury is on an upward angle and on the Logan is on a downward angle. So that's another difference that I spotted. And again, the wrinkles here, different from this side. And uh, the rest is the same. So again, this is definitely retooled. Another thing, you get this sculpt for like a little buttonhole. And on this one, you don't get that. Now for the default hands, they are the same open hands that come with the regular suited bodies. So unfortunately, they look very tiny for this Logan figure. Comparing the proportions to the arms, which, you know, I care about proportions a lot. It's just way too small. When I bring out the uh, claw hands, you'll see it's definitely much bigger and 
you know, more fitting to his size. And for the rest of the legs, it is the same as the Nick Fury suited body because he does have the ankle swivel on them and he has these jet black glossy shoes. Then you got the peg holes at the bottom of the feet. Now taking a look at the alternate head, he has a screaming facial expression and this looks good, man. I really love how I can feel the mix of emotions of pain and anger and then you have more blood on his face so you get a gash above his left eyebrow this time but comparing the two side by side really love how raw and edgy hasbro went here and the top row of the teeth look great the bottom teeth on uh, i don't think so not so much i wish there was more teeth exposed it looks really tiny there man that face looks like he stepped on some legos barefooted Ooh, i know that feeling but yeah, again, the wash on the hair, the beard, looks great. Next up, he comes with a pair of clean claws. And if you saw my Amazon exclusive Wolverine review, these are my favorite new claws for Wolverine. I think they are just perfect. Scratch that because now these are my favorite favorite Marvel Legends claws for Wolverine. Holy crap, look how raw, hardcore, and edgy they went here. Bloody freaking claws. First time in the line this has ever happened for a Wolverine figure. Just bloody claws, man. Not even Toy Biz went there. Oh man, kudos to Hasbro for this. I've been praising them for being edgy and, you know, adding blood to the figures. And this just gives it that more adult collector touch, you know what I mean? Oh, this is something I'm going to appreciate, and I definitely want to put these on some comic Wolverine figures and see how they look. But first, I want you to admire these and see how beautiful they came out, man. Look at that. Oh, the splatter is just perfect. Taking a look at the other hand, the blood splatter is painted differently on each claw, so... Each of them have a nice, unique blood splatter to them. So I really like that, man. I appreciate that a lot. Now, putting them on the comic Old Man Logan figure, this just looks beautiful, man. <laughs> oh, these claws are just so much better. And oh, man, this hurts me. So I tried putting it on the Jim Lee Wolverine figure, and it doesn't work to my liking because uh, these claws just stick out too far right here. As you can see, the edge is just popping out over the, uh, you know, the little claw nubs here where they usually come out of they don't fit in well because unlike this one this has some very small gaps in between the knuckles whereas this one there's very big gaps in between the knuckles so but you know when taking pictures you can always play with certain angles to hide that so uh you know something like this will work Anyways, now I hope we really get some bloody claws for Comic Wolverine down the line. And just to show you, because they are the same hands, you can put the bloody claws and swap them with this Amazon exclusive Wolverine. So you can see how this Wolverine looks with the bloody claws and skin tone matches. It, it just looks perfect, man. So I want to put these bloody claws on the X-Force Wolverine because I feel like the uh, knuckles have a big enough gap that it'll fit in perfectly. The only thing is that these claws don't pop out easily and i'm afraid to heat them up to try to remove them because i just don't want anything to snap so you know if you guys have tried to remove this let me know if it's an easy process again i'm just nervous about doing that and this is what i was talking about earlier about the non-clawed hands looking so much smaller than the clawed hands when these are equipped onto the figure maybe it's the jacket arms they're much more buff than the regular suited arms maybe that's why they look tiny i don't know these do look bigger to me for sure now to cover articulation with Logan, his head moves that far up and it moves that far down, left, right. He does have some good head tilt and it rocks around. His arms move that far up, which is really good. So compare it to the regular suited body. Here is the uh, Nick Fury, as you can see. So the muscle suited bodies definitely can raise its arm a lot higher. His arms move down all around. You got the shoulder swivel, bicep swivel, double jointed elbows that bend in really nice. You got the wrist swivel and the wrist hinge. Ab crunch moves that far forward and that far back. You got the waist swivel. Legs move that far apart. It kicks up that high, kicks that far back. You got the legs that rock around. Thigh swivel, double jointed knees, no heel to the Logan butt. And you have the ankle swivel and the ankles move that far down that far up and you got the ankle rockers now for some comparisons here is our movie logan figure next to the amazon exclusive wolverine from the original trilogy and here is a head swap between the two i think this looks pretty decent the old man jackman head looks really good on the white tank the young man jackman head looks okay on the suit 
I think this could work as a version from the second Wolverine movie. Here he is next to the X-23 Wolverine figure. And finally, here he is next to his Old Man Logan comic book counterpart. And to swap the Logan movie head onto the Old Man Logan comic book body, this looks utterly fantastic. And before I wrap things up, I want to give a big thank you to Hasbro again. This time they sent me the Hasbro Pulse flight stands. And I took some product shot of these, so you'll see this at the end of my video. And you get like three flight stands in one bag with the extenders, clips, and risers. And the only difference between the new one compared to the old one that came with the Black Widow Deluxe is that this one has the Pulse logo on the bottom, whereas this one has the regular Hasbro logo. All right, and now to wrap things up, I'm gonna be straight up here and say while I'm a fan of this set, where the hell is X-23? I feel like the set is incomplete, and I don't like feeling like that as a collector, as she's an integral part of the film. A missed opportunity as I felt they could have introduced a new body bug to the line that could have been helpful for some Marvel characters not made before. I'm thinking some characters from the Runaways like Molly Hayes or a two-pack of Gertrude Yorks with Old Lace. Anyways, Charles is Charles. He was given the right treatment to stand out as he did in the movie. Good reuse of the Stanley body with a new sweater mold and wheelchair. Face print is an A+, so I'm going to give him a 7.5 out of 10, as there's not much else you can do with him, but his body will be useful for me as a stand-in for some civilians in my photography. Can't say he should have been replaced here with X-23, and I can't say he's a waste either because he's needed, just like X-23 was needed for this pack. Logan is the pack here. I'm in love with this Logan figure. Only gripe is the huge gap in the back of the neck area and the relaxed hands are a little on the small side, but I understand why they were packed in so that he could hold the handles to steer Xavier's wheelchair. Other than that, everything else is flawless. An introductory to the muscled suited bodies for the upper torso which moves really well, the bloody head sculpts are great, lots of swapping fun with other Wolverine figures, and best of all, bloody claws. That's the first time in the history of the Legends line for Wolverine figures. Logan is a 9.5 out of 10 for me. My final score as a set, I'm giving it a 7.5 out of 10, but would have been a 10 out of 10 without a shadow of a doubt if X-23 was included to complete the movie trio. It should have never been a 2-pack, it should have been a 3-pack. Logan is arguably the greatest X-Men movie of all time. I think it's the greatest of them all in my opinion, and I'm very appreciative to have these collectibles from such a masterpiece film. So now I kick it back to you guys. What do you guys think of this pack? I'm sure most of you will agree with me that this should have been a 3-pack. Hopefully we'll get a movie X-23 figure someday. Comment below, let me know. That was my review. Please follow me on Instagram if you haven't already. Link is in the description below. Get your Marvel Legends X-Men 20th Anniversary PostCon Exclusive Logan and Charles Xavier 2-Pack at Hasbro Post. Link is in the description below. Check out ShopXManny87.com to purchase some props and dioramas. Hit the notification bell so you always know when my videos are up. Share and subscribe if you're new. Enjoy the pics at the end of the video. See you on the next review. Peace, peace.